All right, so the Madrid Open, the draw is out. It's uh, for the WTA, it is already out. And uh, we've just gone through it. We've just seen it. So let's go through it piece by piece. But let's start with the withdrawals for this tournament because some big names are not playing and some names are pulled out very late. So here is the Madrid Open withdrawals for the WTA. We have Sevilla Cannon. She is out. Kerb is out. Contivate is out with illness. Krejcikova is still out with injury. Osorio is also out. Svetolina and Von Drusova is out. So some big names there. Some Grand Slam champions. Some French Open finalists and champions. And uh, yeah, very... Uh, it's weird. It's weird to see that they're all... How many, uh, how many of them are actually out? Here is the draw. So if you can't read it, I'll just read it out aloud. Sviantek, number one seed. No buys in the first round for any of the seeds, which is kind of easy, uh, interesting. So uh, no buys in the first round. Everyone has to play every round, kind of like a slam. Sviantek, she takes on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Teichman or Kvitova in the second round. Then we got Konju versus Siniakoba. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Rabakina in the second round, who is the... 16th seed, so Rabakina versus Sviantek could be a third round. That's tough. You know, Eager gets a big hitter on a faster clay court in Madrid. That could be that could be tricky. Then we've got Rodokanu. She takes on Martin Kova, which is a rematch of what happened last uh, like last week or the week before in the Billie Jean King Cup. So that'll be interesting to see. Winner of that match will take on either Kostjuk or Towson in the second round. So a lot of young players in that part of the draw. Then you got Stevens versus Kalanina. Winner of that match takes on either Tomjanovic or the number seven seed Muguruza in the second round. So, I mean, Muguruza, Raducanu is interesting, but I feel like this part of the draw is very, very stacked and there's a lot of unknowns. Then we go to the next part of the draw. We've got Zachary taking on Keys. That's a very interesting matchup. Winner of that match will take on either Fernandez or Kazakina in the second round. That's a very fun little part of the draw. Speaking of fun, qualifier taking on Naomi Osaka, who's also in this part of the draw. Winner of that match will take on either Tormo or Pavlyuchenkova, who's back from injury for the first time in a while. So there's a lot of good players in this part of the draw. Maybe we get, you know, a replay of Fernandez Osaka. We've been asking for that ever since the US Open. So maybe we get a replay of that. Uh, you know, Zachary versus Osaka is always fun. Bottom part of the second quarter, We've got Pagula. She takes on Georgie. Winner of that match takes on either Fruvitova or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Andrescu taking on Risk. Winner of that match takes on either Puig or Danielle Collins, the Australian Open finalist. So again, some interesting names in this part of the draw. You know, Andrescu's back. She looked okay in Stuttgart. Took a set off uh, Sabalenka along the way. Uh, Fruvitova, we've seen her over the last couple of months do well. Uh, Pagula, Collins, the Americans in this part of the draw. This is, again, a very unknown part of the draw. Who knows what's going to happen? And uh, there's going to be an interesting top half of the draw. is very, very interesting. I feel like the top half is pretty stacked. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw now. And this is where things lighten up a little bit. Pliskova, she takes on a qualifier. Winner of that match is taking on a quali because we've got two qualies going at it. So a lot of qualies in this part of the draw. Uh, then we've got Diaz taking on Castella. Winner of that match takes on another qualifier. Or Ostapenko in the second round. So... Four qualifiers in this section. Uh, Ostapenko, Pushkova, Kostea's had a good year. Uh, I'm interested to see how that one plays out. Uh, then we've got Azarenka taking on Golubic. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Zedinchek. Then we've got uh, Samsonova taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Anisimova or Sabalenka, the third seed, and the defending champion, Sabalenka. That is very interesting because out of all the players she could have played in that part of the draw, she could have taken on all the qual any qualifier. She has to play probably the one of the most dangerous unseated players in that part of the draw, Anisimova. Anisimova made, almost made a French Open final about three years ago, so that's a five first round. Let's go to the bottom section of the draw. We've got Jabor taking on Paulini. Winner of that match takes on either Cornet or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Zhang versus Mukova. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or Bencic in the second round. Then we go to the bottom section of the draw. This is where things get really, really interesting. You've got Goff taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Putin Seba or Rogers in the second round. Then you've got Simona Halep taking on Zhang. Winner of that match takes on either Kudamatova or the number two seed, Badosa. Terrible draw for Badosa. I think out of all the seeds, especially the top seeds, she probably has the worst draw. You know, Kudamatova's a clay quarter, proven that. Second round could be Halep, obviously a good clay court player. Then we've got Goff. Uh, for Bedosa in the third round, no, doesn't get any easier. And then maybe Benchich in the quarters. I mean, it just gets goes from bad to worse. Obviously, Iga Sviantec is the one that most people will be picking. How can you pick against her? Uh, every, everyone she 
faces she beats. So I'm going to just stick with the winner, and that's Iga Swiatek. And until she loses, I'm going to pick her until she loses. So uh, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the description who you think is going to win this match or win this tournament. Sabalenka, if she can get through an Issam over, she has a pretty good draw. Uh, Bados has got a terrible draw. Maybe Benchish is a dark horse. Uh, how Sakri going to look? I don't know how Sakri is going to feel. Maybe even uh, Ostapenko. I mean, you know, French Open champion. Uh, she's got a pretty good draw with a lot of quality. So maybe Ostapenko could be a dark horse um, as well. So, uh, yeah.